Good morning. It is good to see you once again. I am Minister Marcus. Um, here to do my Friday share. Uh, man, today I want to kind of do something different, man. I want to speak out to all the fathers out there. I know next Sunday is Father's Day. Um, and so today I want to start doing this like on every Friday, man. Just kind of speak out to the fathers out there, giving us some encouragement. You know, sometimes we it, we feel overlooked. Sometimes uh, we may feel underappreciated. And so today, man, if I want to share anything, you know, is if you being a good father, man, continue to be that good father. Uh, me, I have kids. No, uh, my personal situation is <laughs> is crazy. Uh, but one of the things I have always said to myself. And that is, no matter how many kids I have, I'm going to be the best father that I can be to all of them. And so, um, you know, during, during this journey, man, called fatherhood, I'm going to tell you right now, man, it is hard. Yes, I said it. It is hard. People overlook it and they, they underappreciate it because they don't recognize how difficult it is to really be a good father. And, uh, you know, it, it doesn't come with a manual. You know, especially if you're not married to the woman who you have a child with, you know, that situation is a <laughs> is a difficult situation in and of itself. But, man, I want to encourage my fathers out there. Um, it is not your job to prove to anybody how good of a father you are except to your child. It is not your job. I'm going to say that again to prove to your baby mom. It's not your job to prove to your mom, your girlfriend. It's not your job to prove to nobody how much you love your child except your child. So at the end of the day, you are not to be held accountable by anybody else but your conscience and your child. Your job is to do right by your child. And so I'm going to I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, uh, introduce this man. I was watching E.T. Uh, he said something that was real profound. I feel like it will really help our fathers. And that is you can pretend like you care, but you can't pretend being there. I'm going to say that again. You can pretend like you care, but you cannot pretend being there. And I said that to say this. In showing your child that you love them, it's one thing to act like you care, but it, it's no way that you can act like you're there. What I'm saying is sometimes your presence says more than anything sometime your presence man one year I, uh one year i bought my son a slew of transformers when i tell you i bought and they was like 18 dollars a piece and i mean i bought a, i bought the megatron the optimus prime i bought bumblebee i bought starscream i bought even the guys i didn't even know right i spent all this money for my son and uh like the next week like most of them were broke but he remembered from that christmas he remembered the night that we sat on the porch together. He remembered the time. And I, I said that to encourage all of our fathers, all of you fathers out there that may be watching today, man, your, your baby mom may say some things that make you upset. You know, people may say some things that hurt you or upset you. But at the end of the day, your child is going to remember the time that you put in, not the money. Your child is not going to he's going to remember the time, the effort that you put in. And so, man, if I could encourage all my fathers out there, your child need your time, your love, man, your attention. You have something to give to that child. And so at the end of the day, my children became my why. My children became my reason man my kids became my reason it's not my job to prove to that girl nothing it's my job to show my child that i love them my daughters that i care for them my job to protect their innocence my job to instill in my young men my sons how to be men of color and of character of integrity how to stand how to handle pressure and still do what it takes they need me they need my love they need my support to show them you understand what i'm saying and so if i could encourage my fathers out there there are a million reasons why a million excuses man why your money can't do it why you know why things can't i'm, I'm getting emotional but at the end of the day man your kids need you they need you they need that love they need that hug from a man and not in a not in a feminine not in a gay way man in a in a strength way you know they need that support and so you men out there man you be encouraged you continue doing what it is that you doing man so what don't nobody see it so what don't nobody give you the credit for the time is gonna come where your babies grow up and they're gonna see you for who and what you are my question to you fathers out there is what are they gonna see and what are they gonna say when they become a man when they become a woman and they look back at the male role model in their life what will they say about you 
So for all my fathers out there, man, be encouraged. Keep doing what you doing in the end. God is going to bless your efforts. I'm praying for you guys, man. And y'all pray for me too. Be blessed.